Hello, I'm Daniel Siegel. I'm the CEO of Liber Liber. Today I want to tell you some stuff about model-based systems and embedded engineering based on Enterprise Architect from Spark Systems and the Muse from Liber Liber. Spark Systems is very well known in the industry. Uh, they have an enterpri Enterprise Architect as their product. It's a modeling platform, a visual modeling platform. 1998 Spark Systems was founded in Australia. In the meanwhile, there are sister companies all around the world and there is a huge user base. Roughly 250,000 clients are currently sold and are using Enterprise Architect worldwide. Lieber Lieber is an Austrian company. We have a strong relationship, working relationship with Spark Systems in Central Europe and also on a worldwide basis. We have roughly 20 engineers and our company has two focus areas. One is tools and services for model engineering based on Enterprise Architect of course and we do some custom and bespoke development for the financial sector. Enterprise Architect is a visual modeling platform that not just gives you the capabilities from the UML standards, but also supports you in anal analysis and requirements, in design, in implementation, testing and rollout of your projects. This can be, syst uh, this can be line of business projects, system engineering projects or embedded engineering projects. There is plenty of interfaces to third party tools like Doors, Microsoft Office, uh, Visual Studio, Eclipse and via XMI you have a standardized interface to many more systems. Enterprise Architect usually comes into company uh, at the point where people want to generate documentation from their existing source code. So the source code engineering reverse and forward is pretty strong in Enterprise Architect. We are very excited that we can tell you that Enterprise Architect is developed with Enterprise Architect, something not many tools can really claim. There is a built-in source code editor which is pretty good and you can customize everything about the code generation. And there is even reverse engineering capabilities for binary formats like JAR or that .NET assemblies. Nowadays, Enterprise Architect is used a lot in companies because of its possibilities that you can really network your model and enable traceability through your whole system. For example, you can uh, connect a requirement to a state in a state chart so you know why this state is necessary. On the other hand, if you have this modeling platform containing all all the stuff you need for your project, it is very important that you can also output artifacts from your mo model repository. Enterprise Architect supports this in a very nice way. You can generate RTF, PDF and HTML documentation and all of this can be customized with a templating language that is part of the tool. The, this template editor shows you really what you see, so it's a pretty straightforward process to customize the templates. Now, can, now it's part to talk about uh, Liber Liber's part in the in the enterprise architect ecosystem. Liber Liber is a company that was founded with the vision in mind to be able to service customers using enterprise architect in order to customize what enterprise architect does for them. From from this. From these engagements with customers, we developed we develop a lot of custom and bespoke solutions, and also we developed some products. Our flagship product that we will show in more detail at the later stage in this presentation is Amuse, which gives you state machine execution uh, capabilities inside Enterprise Architect. On the other hand, we have a tool that is very well known by basically anybody who develops add-ins and customizations for Enterprise Architect in our SPY. A uh, very new tool is in our web. It enables you to access the repository of Enterprise Architect with your browser. So you can spread the information stored in your model to a much wider audience. On the other hand, since one year we have an embedded tool chain together 
with the guys from Willard Software that enables you to generate software for embedded targets directly from your UML models. When we do bespoke solutions for our clients, usually many of, the, of them are around validation rules and code generation. Validation rules are very important if, you're, if the models play a, a really important part in your business. It makes sense that you really validate them and make sure everybody's modeling according to the company standards and that um, dependencies between parts of the models are maintained and stuff like this. On the other hand, we do l stuff like UML, profiles, legacy import-export, and integration with third-party tools in the ALM landscape. One of the integrations is with CodeBeamer, for example. On the other hand, we provide a lot of consulting and help our clients to learn how to customize enterprise architects. So it's not just we do the work, but we also engage with the customer in order to teach them how to live with the tool, evolve the tool, and and get the most out of it. So Enterprise Architect is a platform. It's not a drawing tool. It's a modeling tool and its database repository is very important. And because it's open and there is the possibility to customize it with add-ins and with MDG technologies, that's why where we come into play and where we can really help a lot to customize it in order to fulfill the job at our customers. You can see there is a box for MUSE. For example, MUSE, our simulator, uses an MDG technology to provide the tools necessary. On the other hand, it's an add-in to run, to run the stuff. Enterprise Architect at the Clans. Mm, many people will know Enterprise Architect and it's static pictures basically but the static pictures are represented in a database so when you delete an item from a diagram it's just a few it's not necessarily lost in your model so in reality diagrams are just views on the model and the real information is stored in the model and not on the diagrams in this case you see a state machine most embedded and system engineers will be very familiar with state machines and we have a UI sketch, a panel diagram, showing how the system should look, a mock-up, so everybody understands what we, what we are going to build. But everything is very static, so no animation, it's just defined. But everything is part of the model, so it's not lost. If you generate artifacts, you will it, they will include all of the stuff you see. And we can have in the model class behaviors, stuff that does actually things. Now, when we started to develop Amuse, it started as a research project. Our goal was to really make the static pictures more dynamic for, for many reasons. Uh, one reason is to manage the complexity in today's projects. On the other hand, improve the modeling productivity because if you can execute a UML model, you know it is really working. On the other hand, it helps a lot if you want to communicate your models with people that are not so familiar with modeling tools. The domain experts finally have a chance to understand what all this state machine stuff means. And most important from my point of view, it can be really hard to understand a state machine somebody else generated if you only have the static picture. Amuse with the dynamic, with the execution component helps you a lot to understand state machines that have been generated by somebody else. And it's also kind of a UML debugger. If you can execute it with Amuse, you know you are close to the standard. So now, after the static pictures from the Enterprise Architect tooling, I want to show you what MUSE can do for people using Enterprise Architect. On the one hand, we see the running state machine. It's really executed. You can see the active states are highlighted in red, and a transition that is currently possible is highlighted in green. On the other hand,
You have all your class behaviors on tap and the UI sketch is actually executed now. So we can connect the UI sketch that was done in the model before and connect it to a running state machine to help to communicate with domain experts and to show what the state machine stuff really means. In this case the traffic light is upside down but I hope you, <laughs> you still understand the point. On the other hand, we have UML debugging because we can uh, watch and change instance values. We can see which events are currently available and we can fire events when, when we want to do. A very powerful feature is the Amuse Trace Viewer, which you can use for filtering, sorting and exporting what happened while you were executing your state machine. I hope. Uh, I engaged you to have a look at the Enterprise Architect and Amuse. So I hope I could motivate you to have a look at Enterprise Architect and Amuse as tools for your development process. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on my email address. If you want to download Amuse and Enterprise Architect right away, just go to the LibreLibre webpage and download the stuff and get started. Okay, bye bye.